All right, welcome to another episode of Rainy Seas Outdoor Adventures. Today, we're fishing Skinny Apples, uh, trying to, to uh, get some smallmouth. So, uh, stay tuned and let's go fishing. <laughs> Check out that sunrise. June in New York, skinny Atlas Lake. Can't beat it. Let's go fish. One. That's a keeper. Yep. There we go. That's a good one. Man, these guys are like short and fat. Nice little one there. There we go. Oh, it's a keeper. It's so short to me. Oh, there's a German Shep. Thought I heard him up. Now we're talking. Yep. Yeah, I've been catching them like that pretty much all day. All right, so this is a follow up of uh, their skinny atlas. So, uh, again, kind of wanted to get out of there. It was Sunday, I wanted to get home as soon as possible uh, before it was, before it was uh, dark. And um, you know, I just wanted to kind of get home, get on the road as soon as possible. So that's why I didn't do the follow-up video here. But let's talk about what we, uh, what was catching them on. Now, I didn't have a, a motor that day, um, so I was basically stuck to trolling motor the whole, the, the lake. I basically went down south um, from the main, from the state launch down to what's the town called uh, that's near the lake called Mandana. Uh, I think that's how I pronounce it. I'm not local, so please correct me if I got that wrong. So 
I was throwing a variety of, of baits up there for me. Um, a lot of more confidence baits. So uh, this was one of them I threw. Uh, now this, in practice, I caught some on this. This is basically a cool down, cool down underspin. Uh, it wasn't this color. I was using the green silver flash. Uh, and it got some decent bites on that. Um, trying to look for deep, bigger fish. Um, this was actually my best bait. Uh, was a Zara Spook. Okay, in the Lake Fork pattern. Uh, I, I was having fish up till 10 o'clock going after it. Now, tournament day, I did not have that. Uh, in the video, you'll see I was pretty bright out and I actually was having uh, top water bites pretty much all day. Um, and that was because, you know, again, it was just the time of year and I was going up there and go, doing pretty well, got some nice bites from that. Randy did get a three pounder on that tournament day. I just was not in a position in order to go use the way I wanted to do it because again, motor issues. Okay, now this has been my bread and butter that I did well on up there. And as far as for smallmouth for the past, I would say two years now, okay. This, this, uh, okay, we got the 2.7 uh, Kai Tech here with the uh, Mega Bass uh, Okashira Spinhead. Uh, that has caught me a lot of big smallmouth around here. Um, it's got Ray some big smallmouth of the Shimo. I have not thrown it up there at all. Um, but I have thrown it around here and done very well on it. Um, up there, it's where I caught most of my little bit better keepers. Again, I caught a lot of 12s and 13s. That lake's full of them. Um, so I didn't really catch much weight up there on that uh, because, you know, I was catching a lot of the smaller ones. But of my better smaller ones, I was catching a uh, little bit better fish with that, with that one. So a time of year, I bet you that Stormarashi, uh, uh, Storm, that, uh, that Stormarashi, yeah, the Mega Bass, Uncle Shira, Spinhead, I bet you catches some big ones certain times of year um, up there. Now, this is what Randy did his damage on, and I've caught a bunch, I caught a couple up there. This is this is one of our club standard, uh, the the uh, shad shaped worm. Now, this is one in particular is in, in the uh, baby bass, but we've caught we've used a bunch of different colors, and that's just a great drop shot bait. Um, they were actually on um, beds up there that time of year, and. Uh, Randy found him. I did not. Uh, so he got so he actually got a four and a half pounder, which I'll put it right here in the in the video, so you guys can see how nice that small mouth is. Uh, winning bag was twenty pounds, which is crazy because we had two days in a row where we had twenty pound small mouth bags come in. It just shows you the quality of the small mouth that are in there if you can find them. Um, but drop shot definitely is probably your best go to big bass bait up there. Um, I'm sure there's many others, certain times of years. I was told jerk baits did well, poppers. Um, skinny Lash is just a nice lake to go fish and just whatever you throw, throw it. Be, whatever you throw for smallmouth, throw it because it's going to work. I know guys call a lot of uh, fish on Ned Rigs too. So you got a lot of options up there. Don't just stick to your, you know, to, to your typical stuff. Go and expand and, and try different things if you want to catch some fish. It's a nice little lake up there. All right, so uh, I think that's it. If, you guys got anything else for me and uh, put down there in the comments please like subscribe share hit that little bell and uh, keep on fishing